threads and multitasking are a feature of modern operating systems that allow you to run two separate processes or bits of code at the same time um, without having to wait for one to complete before um, starting the other. Um, without threads and without multitasking, you have to wait for uh, bits of code to run in consecutive order, uh, one at a time. And um, unfortunately, Rebel doesn't have uh, a formal mechanism for, for threading um, uh, using operate, operating system um, built-in threading, but it does have uh, built-in support for uh, threaded network uh, services, asynchronous network services, That meaning um, th they don't have to occur consecutively. You can have several network processes going at the same time and um, uh, operating uh, consecutively, not consecutively, but uh, at the same time. Um, there is a way to to approximate multitasking in Rebel, and it has to do with uh, using the feel uh, object in a GUI. And what you do is uh, you create a GUI item and put the item in the code that you want to occur in that GUI definition. Uh, so the first thing you do is assign a rate of zero, zero to that GUI item in the view layout block. So for example, um, and down here we have a, an image in the uh, uh, GUI, which we're going to label webcam image, and it's loaded from a, a URL that we define above, and we assign a rate of zero to it. Then we assign a feel object to that, um, to that uh, item, that GUI item, and you put the actions that you want performed simultaneously inside the block that gets evaluated every time a time event occurs. So here we have the feel object for that image, the engage function, and inside that engage function, um, every time an action, uh, or every time the uh, time action occurs, uh, we have a bit of code that's run. In this case, we're going to uh, replace the image of this face with a newly downloaded uh, image from that same URL and then update the face. Um, basically what that's going to do is uh, constantly reload the image of that uh, uh, that URL, the image of that URL, so that we get a video. Um, if we did that, for example, in a forever loop, uh, which would be a, you know, one way of doing that, you have the problem of um, not being able to stop the forever loop and and not being able to do anything else in the program. Uh, so, for example, you couldn't watch for button presses as a button in this uh, uh, in this uh, GUI. So, we need to do it this way. And what you can do to stop and start the actions um, in that GUI element, and you could have as many GUI elements as you wanted, like this, as many things being multitasked uh, within within GUI elements. The way we stop, stop and start it is by either changing, changing that rate to none or back to zero. When you want to run the code, you change it to zero, and when you want to stop the code from running, you change it to none. So in this GUI, we've got a button that says start video, which changes the rate of that webcam. You can see here it says webcam, and then the refinement of rate goes to zero. So that starts the, the code. Um, in the in the field function or in the field object in the engage function, um, and then it uploads the image and, and shows it. Um, and then we have a button that stops the video, and the code there changes the webcam rate to none, and shows the image that um, that stops the um, the field uh, object the engage function from running when it's changed to none. So that's basically the way you can. Um, get these uh, bits of code to stop and start and approximate um, multitasking. So in this case, paste it into Rebel, and you'll see this is a uh, example that you had seen earlier. Um, downloads the image, and in this case, we press start. The video begins. And press stop and that video is running. You can see the connection here. Um, the video is running. If we click stop, it stops. Click start, it starts. So we're still able to um, 
to do other things in the GUI while that code is running repeatedly. Just to stop here. to unview or get rid of a, a GUI that stopped, use the word unview. Um, and here's an example which is basically the same thing, only this time we've got two cameras, two, uh, two images being downloaded. One is named webcam like it was in the previous example, again with a rate set to zero and a feel object with a function that checks for a time action. With that rate to set to zero, it just is constantly running this code. Um, and then we've got another exact same bit of code, only this one is labeled webcam2. It's downloading the same, um, the same image, again with a rate of zero, so that this code is constantly running. So we have two things that are running at the same time, and we have um, several buttons, one to start the first camera, one to stop this, the first camera, and then one to start the second camera, and one to stop the second camera. And in each case, the start button is changing the rate to zero and then the stop button is changing the uh, uh, GUI's rate, the webcam rate, to none. And here is start camera two, we're just doing that same thing, changing webcam two's rate to zero and then to stop it, we're changing that webcam two's rate to none. So with the rate set to zero, that's the key, these bits of code are just constantly running. You can have many, as many GUI items as you want running simultaneously, and you can control them, and all of the other uh, actions in the GUI are um, still working as expected um, in the background while those things are, are happening. Okay, so here we've got, again, the four buttons. And when we press on the stop camera one button, it changes that camera one's rate to uh, none and that video stops. You can see this video is still continuing over here. And if we press stop camera two, you can see that it sets the rate there to none. So we can control these separately. If we want to restart, press the start button and we get moving video again over there. Press the start button on this side and again we get um, some moving video on this side. The internet connection is a little bit slow but you can see here that both videos are running. So that allows you to run as many processes as, as you'd like uh, without having to use a forever loop that locks you into just continuing that process.